This video was kindly sponsored by the Nick Morn Foundation. Did you know that there are over 12,000 species of seaweed? None require fertilizer or farming, and some can grow up to one meter per day. It has been used in different ways throughout different cultures for thousands of years, but has recently become a global practice due to its wide array of uses. We're here today with a company challenging the plastic crisis by creating their own alternative to plastic packaging using seaweed, one of which you can even eat. Today we're in London filming with Nopla, a revolutionary packaging company using seaweed as an alternative to plastic. The material they use is 100% biodegradable and can break down in weeks, allowing customers to simply dispose of it with their general food waste or even eat it. We sat down with one of the co-founders of Nopla to learn more about the company's ambitions. Hi, so I'm Pierre. I'm one of the co-founders of Nopla. We're a sustainable packaging startup and we use seaweed and plants as an alternative to single-use plastic to try to create a range of different packaging solutions that other companies can use. With many other sustainable packaging materials available today, such as cardboard, bioplastic and mycelium, we wanted to know why Nopla chose seaweed as its primary resource for its products. So very early on we knew that we wanted to use uh, something that would be natural and that would therefore have no problem at end of life to disappear. And we found seaweed really interesting for a few different reasons. Seaweed is kind of like this incredible biomass. It grows up to one meter per day. It doesn't require any fresh water or any fertilizer. And on top of that, when it grows, it naturally sheds at the bottom of the ocean some of its biomass, so it's carbon negative. But for us, uh, we also thought that it would be a, a very interesting material for, for making packaging. Um, so we take what nature has already created and we just kind of like repurpose it. With seaweed being available all over the world, Notplas mission is to keep its product sourcing as local as possible. So at the moment we are quite small, therefore we mostly use European seaweeds, but we've tested in the lab seaweed from all around the world. We want to use the local seaweed. If we move to Australia, we have to use Australian seaweed. So it's important for us that we can achieve the same performances with different species of seaweed that exist in different parts of the world. Looking at the range of products Notplas creates, as laid out in front of Pierre, we wanted to know more about their product journey. We started with OVO, so OVO is this little bubble that can contain different kind of uh, liquids, water for marathons, uh, ketchup and mayo sachets for like uh, takeaway, and in this case the, the, the packaging is literally edible. Eat the packaging is the fastest way to make it disappear. And so in this case for OVO, we, uh, we created a machine that works um, in quite a different way than plastic works. We can produce um, like a few thousands of units per, uh, per day, so it's not like a massive factory, but you can have multiple machines side by side. And the idea is that it's a bit more modular and you can create things uh, more as little hubs locally rather than one giant factory for the whole of Europe in one place. Notpla has gone viral online with its Ohos. They've even been used at places like the London Marathon and large press events for drink companies. Starting a packaging company in a world where plastic is the go-to material means that obstacles and challenges are constantly emerging, but in the end are worth the extra effort. There are many challenges because we are coming after plastic, which is very cheap, so everyone is kind of like only paying a fraction of the real cost it has in society up front. So we have to constantly challenge a bit what is the real requirements. Luckily, I think it's on everyone's mind that we cannot continue to put that much plastic out there. So there is a lot of kind of like exciting uh, discussions and buy-in from some of the big players. So um, it's really a journey. And I think working with people who understand that plastic took 100 years to become as ubiquitous as it was. Like, and for us, we've been in this for like, uh, just a few years. It's going to take a little bit longer to like, have the global impact that uh, we all want to have. Despite being a small company, Notpla has managed to secure some big brand deals, including one with the UK's largest food delivery service, Just Eat. Just Eat has been a, a really great partner. Uh, they reached out very early on. They really wanted to offer something that would be truly sustainable. They were very kind of like explicit about the problem they have around like takeaway uh, food containers. And so we started working on the development of this, the box. Um, it's using uh, one of our technology where we apply a thin layer of our seaweed blend onto the paper. Otherwise, the cardboard is like tissue, which just kind of like doesn't hold water. So um, the seaweed in this case provides this barrier. 
we launched in the UK last month. So it's really exciting that we are able to start seeing some growing impact there. With seemingly endless opportunities in the world of packaging, we wanted to know where Notplar is headed next. Right now is a really exciting time for Notplar. We have just uh, closed our uh, Series A uh, funding round. So it means that we can go faster in the products that we have already developed, but we can also uh, start to look at what are the other solutions that we can create with our technology. Uh, one of the really exciting uh, developments is this uh, film that we've developed that is heat sealable. One of the really cool things is that this film is actually soluble in water, so you can literally make it disappear. We try to always think what can seaweed do that uh, plastic cannot, and our goal at Monoply is to really kind of like nail this kind of like uh, cycle of taking early stage new format, new creative solutions and bringing them to the market industrially and having the impact that we want to have. Innovations like Nutpla are not only helping to stop 8 million tons of plastics from reaching the ocean every year, but are also providing the world with alternatives to everyday items that individuals and businesses use to operate. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe to the Going Green channel. We'll see you in the next one.